Hello guys, welcome back. As you guys know from the video title, I am going to show you the unit overall of my main engine. So before starting, you must know my main engine is from the maker of Watsila Soldier and the type is 7RT Flex 58TB and the maximum power is 15,260 kilowatt and the horsepower is 20,748. So I will be showing the step by step process how first we remove all connections and then using hydraulic jack to remove nuts and then our cylinder head comes out followed by piston and then our boss liner. This whole video will be interesting to my friend who are new to the marine field or planning to join Merchant Navy as engineer. Of course my experienced friend must be familiar with these things. For them they can sit and enjoy watching it. So guys till now you have seen uh, all are running here and there and in that they have used the hydraulic jack and remove all the nuts from the cylinder head and now you can see uh, they are going to move uh, the cylinder head so you can see the slowly slowly our cylinder head is coming out and very safely they are going to uh, you can see how because of rolling uh, how it you have to balance it and they have safely um, placed in a floor now they have placed a ladder uh, one of the guy will go inside the liner and take all the calibration and next is uh, next plan is to take out our piston so to disconnect our piston we have to go uh, down of the main engine and from there you have to disconnect some uh, using our hydraulic jack you have to disconnect some nuts and from the under piston also you have to disconnect few bolts and then you have to connect using a tool uh, you have to connect your piston and then you have to slowly slowly lift it up so you can see uh, my second gear will slowly slowly lift it up so you can see uh, the piston is coming slowly slowly out so these operations are very critical and ship should be stable otherwise uh, they are very heavy and because of a small rolling also it is going to bang any side of it so you have to be safe and always secure all these heavy equipment so you can see how big it is though this engine is small it's not a VLCC so engine is small uh, but still you can see uh, it's double the height of a normal human being so you can see uh, this piston and now they are going to place it on a piston stand and this is our piston. You can see a uh, four uh, piston rings are there. So detail I am not going to explain. This is just uh, a video which is going to uh, show you that how things works in engine room. So if you want to go more in more detail. Uh, have to study or uh, you can watch more other videos to thoroughly know uh, a particular uh, description about any of the point so they are using this uh, stand uh, where they are where they are going to place this piston so all these guys are slowly slowly guiding the piston and it will go down and sit on it so uh, this is the tool connected on top and guys uh, if you want to know uh, more about soldier engine like uh, if you want that I should make a video on how what soldier electronic engine works and what are the electronic equipment which are connected to it uh, do write me in the comment so I will take out the time and uh, make a video on it so mm, you can see here the piston is going slowly slowly down uh, these are my guys and they are helping to place it well so once this is done um, the next turn is uh, the liner turn so let's 
see that also so you can see how precisely they are uh, making it set because if you don't uh, place it properly these are having heavy equipments so you have to place it properly so guys uh, this is our cylinder head which was removed before this is the liner which we are going to take it out so you can see uh, it's a big hollow cylinder like thing so we'll be taking it out so you can see left side a uh, few of my guys are cleaning the liner which was there in the spare so they'll clean it very properly so that it go out inside should not have any problem because uh, these things take time so you have to uh, make it very proper so that uh, once we test our engine it's not going to give uh, any trouble in future because once we are selling um, it is more like commercial thing so our main engine should not stop otherwise the earning for the owner stop engine should keep on running so our engine should keep on running to make uh, to make it profitable so you can see um, our liner is coming out uh, how big it is and slowly slowly they are going to place it on the floor so our boss liner is out now and you can see how it is so this is the bottom part of the liner and this is the top side inflated so that side you can see uh, they are making the spare liner ready so few of the material you have to place it before inserting in the main engine like wheels and insulation seats so all these things you have to make sure they are placed your new liner and then we are going to lift it up and place in the main engine so now our new liner is going to go inside the main engine all these things uh, takes more than one one day job so it is not that i am completing in 10 or 12 minute video uh, it don't take time it takes a longer time more than one day to do all these operation and you can see in the video how many people are involved in it uh, it's not a easy job you need patience and uh, sometimes you will feel sleepy also so all these things uh, you have to keep aside and you have to do the job uh, that's why you are paid so you can see our new liner is inside and we are going to secure our old liner so that if there is any rough weather Uh, it should not fall so we have to secure it very properly so our guys are uh, going to place it in a securing point and they will secure it now the turn comes for the piston so the spare piston was already there and it was already made stand by with new piston rings so you can see now it is going inside so slowly slowly these things are going inside our main engine you can see uh, this is a reverse process which we have seen before so our liner is inside now next turn is piston and then our head will sit on the top and then it will be secured with a big nuts using our hydraulic jack so you can see piston is inside and this is the bottom part of 
main engine and this is uh, crankshaft connected to the your piston so these are the connecting rods they are very bigger uh, from i have got single chance to enter inside uh, in my last ship to change one of the sensor but uh, that time i was not having any camera and i was not making any videos so i didn't have that experience to record it so you can see how big it is and i'm uh, using the turning turning gear motor i am turning it and because we are to align it and keep it in the position so that it is secure or bolt so you can see um, guys are preparing everything and now they are going to lift this cylinder head now our cylinder head is going to be placed on top so this is our cylinder head which is which is going to sit on main engine so slowly slowly it is going as you can see uh, now one side of hydraulic jack is been placed and now the second side will come up and once they are all together uh, they are going to connect the hydraulic jack and the pump unit So now they have connected the hoses and using our hydraulic pump near about 1000 bar pressure they will uh, build up and then our nuts will be tightened up once our nut are tight uh, we have to place our uh, exhaust pipe or you can say the bellow exhaust and many of the connection like uh, lubrication connection and uh, water connection multiple connections are there which you have to put it back on main engine so i hope you like the video see you in the next video bye bye take care